This is the story of Audriona Barnes, age 19, a young pretty lady who went missing but was found dead almost a year later under piles of blankets on the balcony at her old boyfriend's apartment. A cleaner who was cleaning the apartment after her 40-year-old boyfriend, Benny Washington, was evicted out of the apartment made the grim discovery. The cleaning crew found her decomposed body on the balcony after it has been there for months. The young girl had apparently been stashed under the pile of clothes and blankets. She had been killed by him months ago and then hid her on his balcony in plain sight where no one could access. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to Cleveland, Ohio. The second most populous city in Ohio, Cleveland is known for its cultural scene, Polish heritage, and musical history. Nicknamed the Forest City, Cleveland is a fantastic tourist destination with plenty of attractions. Cleveland is famous for its sports teams and passionate fans, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, a variety of tasty local cuisines, lively neighborhoods, and parks. Audriona Barnes, age 19 was a beautiful young lady who had her life ahead of her. She was a happy young lady according to her family who wanted to be something in life. She had plans of joining the military when this sad events happened to her. Audriona was young and naive at some point in her life. She dated someone called Benny Washington, age 40. Unknown to her that Benny was not an upstanding citizen, Benny had a lot of rap sheets with the law. Benny has several criminal convictions in his past, including felony assaults, gun possession as a felon, vandalism, drug possession, and others, according to Cuyahoga County Court records. He was charged with arson, assault, and aggravated menacing in a separate case sometimes not too long ago. In 2019, Benny was charged with sexually assaulting a three-year-old girl at a West Side home. The child's grandmother alerted authorities to the sexual crime after the girl told her grandmother what had happened. He was also convicted of shooting a woman in the back in 2010 over a $40 white substance debt, for which he was sentenced to seven years in prison. Any 40-year-old man who has all this type of record under his belt should be away from any 19-year-old but somehow he was in a relationship with her and no one did anything about it. Sometimes in July 2021, after meeting with Army recruiting officers, Audriona was dropped off at her boyfriend's home on Warner Road in Cleveland by one of the officers. That would be the last time anyone saw her alive. Her mother did not hear from her for days and got worried. She said, this is very unlike her. I mean she's an adult, she comes and goes as she wants, we talk on a regular basis, ma this is where I'm at, this is where I'm going. She reported her missing and her ordeal started from there. They tried every way to find her but they didn't have any luck. They looked at every possible angle but could not find her still. There's no way she just walked away with nothing. Akua Avignon is dumbfounded. She's a mother now turned detective, searching for clues high and low as to where her daughter, Adriana Barnes is. So the last time I talked to Adriana was the 30th of July. We actually had plans together. It was plans with the whole family. Um, and later on that night, she sent a text message to my boyfriend asking for a ride that didn't seem like it came from her. And that was the last time anyone has heard or spoken to her in any way. The last place that I know she was was at her boyfriend's house on Warner Road in Cleveland. Her social media was deactivated and her phone was turned off too. Her phone has been turned off since then, and this is very much unlike her. Very odd behavior from a 19-year-old. She doesn't have anything. Her shoes, are, her shoes are at home. All of her clothes are at home. She had no money. So where did she go? Avignon says the Warrensville Heights police are looking into her daughter's disappearance. To me, there is not enough movement going on to find my daughter and and connect missing links. Certain people that should be talked to have not been talked to or they refuse to talk and has been left at that. I reached out to Warrensville Heights Police. I was told the detective in charge of the case is not available. Meantime, as the days and weeks go by, Avignon says she won't let up in the search, holding out hope for a favorable outcome. I want my, I want my child. Even after a very long time, she still wasn't found. It has been four agonizing months. The mom has wondered where her daughter is. The 19-year-old disappeared 
simply without a trace, Chris. But her mother has not lost hope, working hard to find her daughter and get her home. Tierra Braddock has more on the desperate search for the missing 19 year old. Adriana Barnes was last seen here on Warner Road in the city southeast side. She was dropped off at her boyfriend's house, but that was the last time anyone ever heard from her. Now, the 19 year old's mother was out here putting up flyers, hoping that anyone with any information will come forward so they can find her child. It's hard because I don't have my child. Akua Avignon has been living in a nightmare these past four months as she searches for her 19 year old daughter, Adriana Barnes. There's no phone calls, there's no nothing. So just imagine being able not to talk to your kid. Barnes went missing on July 30th. Here's what we know. She left an armed service recruiter's office and was dropped off on Warner Road in Cleveland. That's where she vanished. This is very unlike her. This is unlike her. And I mean, she's an adult. She comes and goes as she wants. We talk on a regular basis. Ma, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm going. Sadly, a detective says there's no new leads or a person of interest right now. So Anvin Young decided to take matters into her own hands. Thursday, she canvassed the area, hoping someone has information on where her daughter could be. About Adriana, if you know where she's at, seen her, know where she was going, who she was leaving with, say something. She says Barnes is the oldest of five children and these upcoming holidays are going to be difficult for their family. When picture time comes, how do we do ugly sweater pictures with no Audrey? In case you were wondering, there are security cameras in this area. I spoke to the detective on Barnes's case and he says that the footage on there was not conclusive. When asked, the Army recruiter said it was unclear to the recruiters if Audriona went back into the apartment or if she walked away. Even though her phone had sent a text message asking someone to pick her up, it didn't sound like her according to her mother. Some detectives tried to speak to Benny but he went ballistic on them during the investigation. My partner and I walked up introduced ourselves to him and he blew up on us. I hate the police, he called us all kind of names. Basically, he was attacking my partner, said Detective Curry. The detectives never made it to Benny's apartment because he rejected their attempts to speak with him. He eventually asked for an attorney and just walked away and went into his building. Benny was eventually evicted and he moved out of his apartment after eight months of Adriona missing, so the new owner of the apartment were set to clean everywhere and rent it out when the cleaner entered the apartment and noticed garbage bags and blankets on the balcony. Upon inspection, the cleaner discovered a decomposed body under the pile of blankets. Police were called to the scene and it was confirmed that it was indeed a human body. Benny was taken into custody on March 19, 2022 after it was confirmed it was the body of Adriana Barnes. Still haunting questions tonight after a missing woman was found dead on an apartment balcony in the same area where she was last seen. Adriana Barnes vanished eight months ago. Now her loved ones want answers. What led to her death? CN New Yorker has the developing details. For months, people wondered, where is Adriana Barnes? Where did she go? There's no way she just walked away with nothing. Her mother, Akua Avegnon, reported the 19-year-old woman missing last July to Warrensville Heights Police. She said Adriana was at an armed services recruiting office, then headed to her boyfriend's, and then vanished. The last place that I know she was was at her boyfriend's house on Warner Road in Cleveland. For months, detectives said there were no new leads in this case until a shocking discovery this week at this apartment building. Warner Road in Slavic Village, the same street where Adriana was found dead on Thursday. Police say a cleaning person found the woman's body on the balcony wrapped in a blanket. Cleveland police are now handling the investigation, but Detective Gregory Curry from Warrensville Heights worked on Adriana's case at the start. He told 19 News then he was not ruling out foul play. I know that speaking with the recruiters, they picked her up at the boyfriend house in Cleveland. They then dropped her back off there. They just don't know if she went in back into the apartment or if she walked away. Leaving many wondering what happened to Adriana Barnes. Has her body always been here or was it recently moved? Because I was like, it would make me feel sick. The Cuyahoga Medical Examiner's Office is conducting an autopsy to find out how Adriana died. We spoke with Adriana's mother, but understandably, she was too distraught to talk on camera at this time. But she told us then, It's hard, 
because I don't have my child. I want my, I want my child. Autopsy confirmed that she was shot in the back of the head. He was indicted on the charges of aggravated murder, murder, kidnapping, felonious assault, offenses against a human corpse and having weapons while under disability. Benny pleaded not guilty and he went to trial. Out of the murder trial back here at home, underway for a Cleveland man accused of killing his girlfriend, leaving her body in a pile of garbage on his apartment balcony. Just one station in the courtroom today. See a New Yorker tells us what happened. Tuesday morning, a broken hearted mother told the court about the moment police found her missing daughter, Adriana Barnes. They tried to make me go into a room. So I already knew that it was her. And they sent the um, officer out to tell me that it was her. Investigators say 39-year-old Benny Washington shot and killed the 18-year-old woman who was his girlfriend at the time. Investigators showed the graphic photos to the jury during opening statements. You'll learn during the course of the trial and the evidence will show that it was the mummified skeleton remains of Adriana Barnes. And she found those on the defendant's second floor balcony wrapped in blanket, clothing, garbage bags, with pieces of cardboard and duct tape. Washington has pleaded not guilty to the charges, but prosecutors told the jury the evidence is overwhelming. Ladies and gentlemen, at the conclusion of this case, all of these pieces of evidence are gonna lead you to one and one conclusion only, that this defendant, with prior calculation and design, purposely caused the death of Adriana Barnes. He did it with a firearm. He did it in the course of committing kidnapping and felonious assault. And he disposed of her body in a way that is offensive to our community standards. At trial, he was found guilty and Adriana's family had a lot to say to him. Name, spell your last name for the record, please, name. My name is Latoya Clark, L-A-T-O-Y-A-C-L-A-R-K. I'm Adriana, Adriana Barnes' auntie. Ms. Clark? Um, I really, I didn't even know what to say, but knowing that a coward actually killed our, my, my niece, like, it's just still shocking for me, her siblings, and the kids. Like, I just, I don't understand. Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. Like, you're way older. She's a baby. You killed a baby. There's nothing in this world, nothing on this earth, that an 18-year-old can do to a 40-year-old for you to kill her. You're a coward, and I hope you get everything you deserve. Thank you, Ms. Clark. Ma'am, please st state your name for the record, please. Okua Avignon. A K U A. Last name is A V E G N O N. Ma'am, I have a hard time hearing you. I just want to let you know. I want to hear everything that you say, but you're going to have to speak a little bit louder. Okay. Okua Avignon. A K U A A V E G N O N. Okay. Where is K? Words cannot express how hard this is for me. You took her away in a matter of seconds. It took me 10 hours, 21 minutes to bring her into this world. In a matter of seconds, you took her because she no longer wanted to be with you. Because you're a pedophile and you're a disgusting person. You call my phone every day to say we're gonna find her, we're gonna make sure she comes back. 
you stood in the kitchen and said, I miss her and my baby. But yet you took her knowing that she was perfect. Without a care. Because you're a disgusting individual. One of the proudest moments was her graduation. She graduated at 17. Deciding to go to the military wasn't something that she just did on her own. She didn't want to be in the military since she was in the ninth grade. I regret not allowing her to start in the 10th grade when they offered her that chance because she was on the track to graduate early. Then she would have never came across your path. I hope every time you close your eyes, you see her. Every time it's quiet, you hear crying. You deserve everything that you're going to get. You are disgusting. You help me look for her. You call every day. Just checking on you, making sure you're okay. We gonna find her. When all the while you knew what you did to her. You knew. But you just kept calling me. You kept saying, oh, she coming home. When you knew she wasn't. You disgusted. After all that, the judge sentenced him. The offender's conduct being less serious. <clears throat> Uh, pursuant to 292912D, the court has to make a finding about offenders' recidivism more likely. Uh, and I would say that the offender has a history of criminal convictions. Uh, obviously, he didn't respond favorably to sanctions previously imposed because he shot another woman, thereby taking this young lady's life. Um, and uh, I would indicate, uh, based upon the facts that I listened to during the course of the trial, the offender shows no genuine remorse. Uh, pursuant to 292912E, the court looks and tries to find is there, uh, the offender's recidivism less likely, and I find no factors that would apply to that. <clears throat> um, in pronouncing a sentence, uh, the court has to use those factors so that it's, it's not a sentence that just comes out of the air. I go through the process that the, the law charges me with. Uh, <clears throat> so as to count three, murder in violation of 2903.02a, uh, count, uh, the court finds the, def uh, the sentences the defendant to 15 years to life as to the substantive count of the indictment. <clears throat> The court imposes a 54-month sentence in prison for a violation of 2941.145D, and that has to run consecutive to the underlying crime. He was sentenced to serve 38 years to life in prison. He will be eligible for parole after serving 38 years. Our deepest condolences to the family and friend of Audriona Barnes. May Audriona's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.